Yo, what is going on? In this video, we're going to be breaking down how to create this rolling loud effect. Recently, they had a show in Los Angeles, California, where I really liked their marketing campaign. So I want to show you guys how to create a similar look in this video using these two posters as a reference. In After Effects, we're going to begin by creating a new adjustment layer. And for the first effect, we're going to add a grain. Change the viewing mode to final output. For the preset, I'm just going to go for Kodak Vision 500T. Increase the intensity density to 1.2, increase the size to around like 1.5. And then go to the color tab. I'm just going to have mine in chromatic just so it's black and white and we don't have it colored. Now, as you guys can see, we have that really intense grain look on our footage. For the next effect, we're going to add a tritone. The tritone midtones is already that brown color that we're looking for, just like the Rolling Loud posters. So in our case, we're going to go for more of a lighter brown, or I'd say like a darker brown like that. And then for the final effect, we're going to add a levels. Increase the input black to, I would say like, 45.4 and then increase the input wide just by a little 260 and this really all just depends on your footage but we really want to bring out the shadows and then decrease the highlights and just like that we already have the effect on our footage now we're going to create a title card for our artist let's create a new text layer and for this text layer i'll be using a similar font as the rolling loud one i'll be using impact and then for the color, I'm gonna go for more of a gray color, a light gray color. And then we're just gonna type out the name of our artist, so Fago. And I like to have the anchor point right at the center of my text layer. So in order to do that, you wanna hold the control button and then double click the anchor point tool. Increase the size of the text layer. So we're gonna increase the scale and I'll have it just like that. Make sure that the text layer is right at the center. I'm going to unlink the scale and increase the Y value just so that the text is a lot more stretched out and a lot taller, so I'll have it like that. Instead of just having the text layer on our video layer, we're gonna have it cut in right at the 10 frames mark. For this layer, I'm going to have it 30 frames long. I'm going to create a simple effect where we have an invert effect over our layers. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Make this adjustment layer the same size as the text layer. Add an invert. Now, as you guys can see, we have a different look on our footage as well as the text. And instead of just having it cut in, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Add an exposure. Keyframe the exposure at three at the center. Click that adjustment layer. Click U to reveal the keyframes and then go back two frames. Keyframe the exposure back to zero. Also keyframe the exposure at zero at the end. Easy ease all of those keyframes. I'm also just going to cut this adjustment layer to the same length as the keyframes. Click Ctrl D in order to duplicate that layer so that we can have an animation at the end. Now when we play this, this is what we have for our final effect. It's really simple and I personally really like the color palette as well as that textured look that they use for their marketing campaign. But that is all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.